to dribble a soccer ball. Phenomenal dribblers are like escape artists. They get out of impossible binds and pull off amazing stunts that leave onlookers floored. Before the fancy tricks, though, you'll need to ground yourself in the basics of ball control. You will need a soccer ball, a grassy area, and soccer cleats. Optional, cones or other dribbling obstacles. Step one, place the ball on the grass in front of you. Bear in mind that dribbling is simply the ability to move the ball at a reasonable pace while keeping it close and under control. Step two, square the inside of your foot to the direction you want to move and tap the ball lightly with the inside of your foot in that direction. Step three, follow the ball closely and again tap it lightly ahead of you. Maintain a low center of gravity and keep the ball close so you can change direction, stop quickly or change pace. Step four, continue tapping and following the ball down the field. Step five, try using your other foot too, remembering to square the inside of the dribbling foot in the direction you want the ball to move. Look up, not at the ball, so you can see the field, your opponents, and your passing options. Step six, practice your ball control by running a little faster and tapping the ball a little farther in front of you. Over time, you'll become familiar with how hard you can tap the ball at varying speeds while still maintaining control. Step seven. If you have cones or other obstacles you can set up in the grass, try dribbling around them to simulate a game situation with opponents. Step eight. Look around for a flesh and blood opponent to try out your new skills on. Did you know? Major League Soccer debuted in 1993, but didn't see mainstream appreciation until the 2002 season.